Hello and welcome back everyone, my name is Little Corn Dogs, and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to build a simple plane in Trail Makers. Now, let's get started. Okay, so now that we're on a flat area, you know, the airstrip, that's basically the best place to be when you're building a plane. Let's go ahead and click B to build and let's get our seat out. Now basically every time that you start building something in this game, I recommend putting a seat out. Now we're going to go with the cockpit seat because that one just looks the coolest. Now let's turn the aerodynamics off. We can check that at the very end um, to make sure that there's no drag. Okay, now that we got that, let's go ahead and pull out these guys. These are going to help with the, of course, the look, but also the shape of the um, plane. Better for stability and so there's no drag. So let's get this out. Let's paste or copy and paste it back there. And now let's get these three by ones like that. Um, this isn't going to be a big jet, it's just going to be a, like a normal size. Um, nothing too crazy. I've definitely built some really big stuff in this game. Um, but I don't really feel like having something super ridiculously big. Because they just don't fly that well in this game. Um, that's a, I guess is a good place to start. So, things that are huge in this game. Um, not only do they, you know, create more lag, but they just don't usually work out all that well. Um, now I've built some really big things that fly good, but you know, they're slow and reacting and tilting and turning and all that. So um, to check and make sure that all the, you know, moving parts or parts that actually help your vehicle move, um, you can check it by just hovering over them. So spacebar, and then um, if you hold control, you can click on both of them and it highlights both of them. And then if you go to the settings, then it shows you everything in here. With the thruster, you really don't have to do anything unless you just want you know, the button layout to be something else. So you click on it and let's say you want uh, shift to be the thrust, then you can do that. Um, I like it spacebar. And then um, if you want to toggle it, which means it just stays on, then you can do that as well. But I mean, that's only for like really big jets and it, it doesn't really apply that much to uh, this thing. So. Um, let's go ahead and start with the wings. So um, we'll get more into the mechanical side and like the moving parts, um, but we're just not there yet. So let's go here. Let's get a steering hinge. You can also use servos, but again, that's for bigger aircraft. Um, not really worth using unless you know you want very very fast response time and you know this thing's just really big and clunky so it doesn't look all that good and pleasing to the eye so now that we got that let's go ahead and add this guy now instead of adding something small like that um, I recommend adding something that's a little bit bigger like a three because we can move it out like that but also we can attach another wing onto this part. Now, the reason why we're adding this hinge is that we'll have that you know, up and down, whether if that's you want that to be your lift, so um, both the wings go up in the front to pick up the front of the plane, or if you want them to go opposite directions so that you spin. So let's get that, and then these little sharp angles just look so cool. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna drop it down. And then let's get a sloped piece. Let's start off with a two and then a three. I believe that's the size of this width here. So yes, it is. Okay, so let's rotate that and go up. Okay, so um, there are different ways of making a plane if you do want to you know, not have to have all these control surfaces. If you just wanted to have this cockpit and like this wing on this side and this and another one on that side you could totally do that with like a thruster in the back and you can fly and tilt and do all that um, because the seat itself um, as you can see it says disable air controls if you want um, but that basically allows you to tilt and turn and lean when you're in the seat but the bigger the vehicle the slower that is so um, it's not really worth it i feel like um, if, it's just better to add the air controls with like a steering hinge like that. So um, we will change the settings on these because this is on A and D and this one's also on A and D. They'd have to be opposite, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So let's go ahead and copy this. This is what I like to do um, for the rear with most of my planes. 
Um, I want them to all be somewhat similar. So instead of rebuilding this whole thing again, you can just click and drag and you can copy it like that. And then you can go across like that and then bring it down one. So um, that's pretty good. And now let's do this one. So we can go right here and we'll do the same exact thing. Okay, so what I'm thinking is maybe flipping these and moving them in just so things are more, uh, I don't know, they just look a little bit better. Oh, I did not do that piece. Oh, I did that instead. There we go. Okay, so instead of having the, you know, this weird piece sticking out, we can just totally flip this. Um, oh, there we go. I clicked the wrong one for a second. Okay. And then let's delete this one and then we'll copy this one to that side. So, you know, it's a little, looks a little bit better. So now that we got that, let's add a vertical stabilizer. Now I would use something like this so that it matches, but then you'd have to have two. I feel like that looks a little goofy. So I probably won't do that. But anyway, so let's go ahead and add that vertical stabilizer like that. Um, I like that one just cause it's centered and even though it does have that weird little top on it, it's fine. It'll work out fine. So now that we have that, let's make sure that all of these are going in the right direction. So to make things simpler, as you can see, there is a red arrow going like this and there's a green arrow going like that on this side. So I like to keep the green um, most of the time on top like that um, and then the green on top like that and then green and this one should be green. Okay, cool. All right, now that we have that, so if we see the green, we want the green to, well, I guess it's, it's easier like this. So we want the green to tilt up. So the best way to do that is if we go to settings, okay, then we can see the green. And so when we click D to turn, then we want that side to go up. So this actually looks right. And then when we go left, well, this looks correct. And then when we go left, um, the, it'll go down and it'll add roll. So let's go over to this side and it'll basically just be the opposite. Um, and then let's also, uh, we'll change the speed on all of these as well. But um, these guys are exactly the same. So if we hold control and then click on, you know, both of them, then we have that. And so um, let's do S and W. So we have up and down. And then uh, with these guys, I'm just highlighting all of the the um, what are these called uh, hinges then we change the speed to all the way up to two so now that we have that let's check all of the controls so left that is tilting and then right that is tilting and then we go up and then we go down so um, that looks about right to me and then the thrust is good as well so let's go ahead and take off all right we are at the end of the runway on the giant ship Let's go ahead and take off. Let's see. Now, no landing gear is needed, dude. You don't need that landing gear. It's all good. So let's go ahead and pull up. This thing has a lot of lifts, so that's good. Um, yeah, so basically that's how you make a simple plane. I feel like as long as you understand the, um, the like hinges and the settings, you're pretty much good. I mean, this, this game is extremely easy to understand, but the initial learning period on, you know, having to have a hinge or a servo um, to actually have a tilting function on a plane, um, it's it's definitely weird to learn in the beginning. Um, but you know, then you can start adding guns on this thing, and you can start doing some crazy tricks, you know, backflips, just like what I did there. Go through some rings. Let's see. There you go, 25 schmeckles right there, just from that, man. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I'm going to totally crash right now. Oh! Okay, we only got the back end. What could we do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. We're goners, dude. We're goners. All right, you guys. Well, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun making this thing, and I just always have fun playing this game. So, if you guys want to see anything else, um, like a tank, a car, a drift car, a rocket ship whatever you guys want to see go ahead and leave a comment down below anyways my name is little corn dogs and i will see you guys in the next one